this is Tim Tech Tips, and we're going to be checking out cleaning software, optimization software. So we're going to be having a look at two today, two that I really like. If you have any other recommendations, I'd like to hear them. But one is uh, C Cleaner, and the other is Slim Cleaner. They're both freeware, and I uh, they're both trusted. Uh, this one apparently by CNET. Um, so you can do you can optimize and you can clean with them. Now my recommendation is you get both, but here is why here's what here's what they're good at. So C Cleaner, well here's the website, it has Mac and PC. And C Cleaner is really good at just cleaning up space. I think it's like tw up to 25-50% better than Slim Cleaner. It doesn't look as good though. You can run the cleaner, you can analyze, you got the, all the registry tools, the Installed the startup system restore drive wiper, just everything, just sort of right ready for you. Um, it doesn't look as good. It's a bit hard to use once you get past. Once you, it's harder to use, not hard. Once you get past into tools, but the cleaner is far better, and you've got quite a few options. With slow and cleaner, you've also got options. It has almost the exact same stuff, but it doesn't seem to clear it as well. The one advantage is that it can get your it can clear out everything except your passwords and stuff so the internet browsers will still remember your passwords and it won't clear out those temporary files. However, where Slim Cleaner excels is optimization. It's very good, it's graphically amazing for doing optimization. You can view results, you can see ratings, you can see how relevant it is for your PC. You can sort of see the services and restore services you've removed from the startup menu. You can also uninstall direct from here, which is something I quite like because it's usually quite slow going through the good old add and remove programs. So this is why I like it. It's graphic. It's just graphically good compared to the uh, C Cleaner tools such as the uninstall. I mean that's okay. It's still it's still good. Um, you can delete uh, entries on this one. I don't know about this. No. See that's the good thing about this. You can delete entries for startup. It's looking quite messy now, but this is where I, I like this is optimize. We're looking at startup. It's graphic. It's clean. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit old here. This one just does such a good job in cleaning. I just keep this one. I mean, you can have slim, slim cleaner if you want. If you're into that, uh, you can also view your browser sort of tools. You can see your toolbars. You can have a look at some disk tools. You can analyze and clean up your disks. It's got some good old Windows tools. I personally only I only go as far as software optimized browsers. You you can kind of do that by yourself. You don't really need this software for that. But I just recommend C Cleaner. Just a hundred percent for cleaning. It just it's it's got rid of up to three gig or two or three gigs for me. Don't know how I got that much fi that that much files. Or those many files. Oh, no, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But I would recommend Slim Cleaner for optimization because it really just does excels and it's just graphically better and it does the same thing in that respect. Um, yeah. So get them both. They're both free. They're relatively small. I believe Slim Cleaner is slightly bigger because of the graphics and stuff. But don't quote me to it. And so I'll see you next time on Tim Tech Tips.